Welcome back, everybody, to Level Up. Uh, it's been a while. Well, for me, at least. I uh, haven't recorded anything in a while. Um, but yes, I think today is the day we get around to our main girl, Black Canary. She's got three levels to go. Wait. Maybe not. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I remember I have some level 18s around here. So yeah, Harley, remember Raiden's waiting, so Harley then Black Canary, so we're finishing off Harley tonight, or whenever, this probably will be a little bit um, of a longer series, so let's see if I can cut it off at around the 20-ish minute mark for this episode, so we're just going to run Harley through, um, hmm, Can I? I guess I can get a little bit of this done. So we'll be doing this, uh, th this here, um, multiverse with Harley, while um, Harley Quinn. Uh, just click whatever loadout theme. And, well, <clears throat> let's get this uh, train rolling. So, Hellboy, we finally got his trailer. I was kind of underwhelmed at first, but you know, I think he's grown on me. His gear most definitely looks sick from what I've seen so far. Looking forward to playing him, so that's why it is important that we get these characters to level 20 before he shows up. Atrociraptor. Atrociraptor. I have not heard that one before. That was wild. You know, I was really like proud of my loadout names. It's so bad that like that whole loadout fiasco happened a while ago. Any of you guys who play this game know the pain that uh, a lot of us in Justice two players got um i think maybe on maybe psn exclusive where they fucked up with the update and it got rid of all of our gear for for a bit ah my girl raven still still with us in spirit but yeah right, right now i've got like a lot of stuff going on guys I'm trying to run regularly you know get that exercise be healthier in about 15 minutes to be at, oh damn 15 minutes well I can push it off to the end of this episode you see I feel like that's the logic of like one of my friends when they're being like a dick they're <laughs> not like, like, like blaming you for not being able to get the joke oh they're still cool though Oh yeah, so exercise and school projects right now. Work is also going to be uh, taking up a lot of time. I'm going to try to record some more uh, this weekend. Um, I don't know when I'll release it. Main thing that goes into making these videos is just working on the thumbnails. I now have the ability to like draw the thumbnails. So those are going to at least have some effort put into it. Made, uh, at least uh, at that level I've gotten I think I've gotten a good audio balance uh, anyone who actually cares to comment uh, tell me if this sounds a lot better than the first few uh, videos anyone reading the Injustice 2 comics because I am it's kind of it's not as gripping as the Injustice 1 comics were when I first started reading them. Like, for some reason, I just don't... I'm, like, less invested because of what they're doing with the, uh... With everything involved in the series so, so far. They, uh, made Aqualad, like, a bad guy. Like, Young Justice Aqualad, and that, like, rubbed me a bit the wrong way. People... People who shouldn't be killing people, unnecessarily killing people in the accidental way that Injustice does. Where it's all like, 
Come on, give us a death that like feels like it's deserved instead of this kind of uh play around with my heartstrings kind of garbage. Cause I don't know I don't know Diablo, but Diablo was one of the good things out of Suicide Squad and they just like they just like killed him. They just like fucking dropped his ass. In like a BS way, because like granted it's injustice, it's like Mortal Kombat, so we so I can I can expect and be all like, oh, it's more realistic that people would accidentally kill people with their powers. But Blue Beetle's always had that kind of thing embedded in his character that he stops his scarab from doing that kind of shit. You know? But yeah, I just feel like, like, granted, I don't think the comics really reflect what can be an injustice. But, I don't know. L logic somewhat like kind of gives me this idea that maybe they might have done it so they didn't have to put Diablo in, in this game or in like Injustice 3 when like seriously Diablo was like the coolest dude and we're probably gonna get Enchantress but Diablo was like the best the best thing out of that film speaking of like um like Diablo's character you know the whole bit about like, you know, a group of characters becoming, who aren't related, becoming essentially family to one another? Similar to like, The Walking Dead, all that stuff. And like, people immediately say, oh man, it's the Fast and Furious thing. Like, it, if you guys don't like it, that's cool, but like, honestly, I, I dig that kind of idea, that concept that they play around with. And I think it's really well done in like, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. And, um, uh, The Walking Dead as an example, because literally we've been there for years with these characters who've lived exclusively with one another. In a moment, you will not think so. I'm just trying to break the ice. Begin. Yeah, I need, I need to get back into, uh, some of the shows coming out. I've been watching some of the DC shows. Anyone who follows my Twitter knows that I... I've had some things to say. Had some things to say. Yep, that was that was me. That was me being stupid. Yep. Your boy lucky being dumb. It just like flashes like like and somebody I don't know if it was I don't know who said it. Oh yeah, it was a good it was a friend of mine. Uh, told me that Flash was like one of the best things on TV right now. And I was just like, thinking the Flash is a good show, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's rubbing me a long way right now. Like, everybody on Twitter's loving the hell out of the new Barry and Iris dynamic. And I dig it that she gets, that she gets to be, sh a sh gets to be a strong leader type role in the absence of Barry. But, why really? Like, why is that the role she assumes? Especially since he apparently very told Cisco that everyone would look to him. And it would make more sense, yeah? Because, like, he's the one with powers and been on Team Flash the, the longest with, without Caitlyn. But like, you know, she's she's with Barry. Literally she was the damsel in distress the whole series. She just shot Savitar. And that was like the stupidest shit ever. That Savitar was killed by a gunshot. And so it's like really weird to see her be the authority authority figure to a point that's like a little totalitarian until uh Barry gets back. And I get it. Barry was kind of an asshole for ignoring her in like episode two when he shows back up. But um, it's just it's just really it's just really weird that like um, that's how that was playing out particularly. And then when she goes, she says, "Where the Flash?" Like, okay, but I was immediately like, "Nah, that's not. We're not the Flash." Barry's the Flash. You're Iris. You can have power in the role that you are Iris. 
<laughs> this just really threw me through some loops. And like, granted, um, if she's helping him out in like CSI business, that's neat. But I'm not sure he they should be allowed to. But yeah, um, as far as it all goes, it's, uh, it's, uh, just, um, interesting, I gotta say the least. Um, it's really weird, like, probably, like, my favorite female character on that show is Caitlyn, and, like, the way they took her character is, like, it's really weird. It's not a direction. I, I like still love the hell out of Caitlyn. And I'm really looking forward to her badass. Um, oh no, not the only. Like, there's Caitlyn and there's Cecile, who is Beth Mom. Um, Iris is I, I guess. She can be I. I remember, like, literally, I was, like, like, the most, like, fuck you when she was upset about not being put into a loop of what Barry's secret is. Because I was, like, it's, like, it's kind of, like, his business. Like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to throw anyone off. I, like, I don't want to be a disagreeable guy. Like, I don't want to be the person who's wrong. Like, about, um... A viewpoint on this because like I feel like I kind of am just a bit coming at this from the wrong perspective and like Jesse quick like in the episode when HR tells her like to wait for the real flash to show up granted even I felt like a little iffy of whether or not I would say Barry was like because Barry still feels like an inexperienced kid from time to time but like still over Jesse who would done like one thing I was like yeah you know leave it to Barry to fight a speedster when you dealt with a uh, weird mirror master and top top For some reason like like top is like one of the lamest rogues and, and like I got in the bro mode well when she broke up with Wally and that was just a move to get those two characters off the front and center. Which, elongated man, I haven't seen him yet, but he looks like he's fun. I'm about to watch that episode later. It's, uh, it's a thing, yeah. Hopefully. I just, I just hope that it's, um... It gets to fill out a little bit more. The thinker's great. There's like Legend of Tomorrow gets me ranting. Would you like to be the princess this time? <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Begin. Starfire's good. I should play some more of these deals. It's does anyone get the DLC condition where the DLC DLC character comes out? You focus on them for a bit of time. Then, after a bit, you just like ignore them as the next DLC character comes out. Like the DLCs are like the characters you, you enjoy fucking around with for the first two weeks after their release. But then like you're back to whoever your mainstays are if, when you pick up the game. Yeah, it's just, uh, and I feel like not liking Supergirl to a certain level is, like, I would hope that it's just that it's indicative of its quality and not really of, like, any viewpoints, because at points, it feels like not liking, not making, liking, uh, Supergirl 
from like the way the whole show is constructed is making me feel like I just have this problem with female characters. But I, I would hope not. I, I feel like I don't. Like, I, I enjoy really well written, strong female characters. What? Why am I what, like? The right time like that, I'm like trying to explain myself is making this sound worse. But it's just like Supergirl was just like so frustrating in Super in season two. She had this superiority complex. She was like this professional hero, top of her game, and it was just like it's been one season. It's been one season, and you're already okay. And like Marsh Manor does nothing. And she has this whole kind of sunny thing against like normal vigilantes. And it just like drove me up a wall. She had this thing about like if you have powers you have to use them to be uh, unselfish or you're an asshole. Which I disagree with but the show agreed with her. So. That was a problem. And then, like, the way they treat Superman, who seems like he's a cool thought in this show, because Superman's not even really a character in the show, he's a thought. <laughs> um, they just use him to, like, set up how strong Supergirl is now. Near the climax, they're all, like, established. Oh, they're, they're this kind of relationship, uh, a, a familiar bond between these two. And Superman's the more seasoned of the two, but he doesn't really get that much attention, despite... You know, them being able to use him now. And she just, like, gets beat by Supergirl to show that, like, she's powerful enough to fight people. And, like, I feel like they're doing, like, strong female uh, antagonists to keep the uh, feminist message of the show going. But you don't really need to do that, like, like full, full sail, like, on this show. Especially when... Characters like Cat Grant are gonna be obnoxious about it. Just like appreciate the fact that Supergirl is a sh really strong woman, and play off of that. She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to do. You guys don't need to try so hard. And just like let your side characters do more. Monel did like. Despite forcing him to be a hero, you guys did very little with him and made him relatively inept. You literally made him a damsel in distress, and like, I think part of the thing that sold like people when they heard Monel was gonna be in it was, oh, Superboy's on Supergirl. That sounds dope. But yeah, like it's it's Supergirl. Like like a friend of mine once told me the show's called Supergirl, but like the show is called Arrow over there, and they're like. They're focusing on everybody. We're getting good focus on everybody and what's happening with them. And that's good. That's that's good with this with the way this universe has expanded. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like Yeah. And your mom don't like you, bro. I just read the most recent issue. Well, you know, doesn't like what you do. I, it's really weird. I like I don't I don't like mm, like racial ghoul I don't like him because like he's just like his ego terrorism just threatens like humanity and he just like thinks that's justified but it's not it's really it really isn't and like all these regimers think they were justified and but they but they have their justification to garbage And when they when they acknowledge for a moment that through an innocence perspective, uh, yeah, we're the bad guys. We're wrong because we're doing shit that we would not have agreed with earlier. Uh, Damien always kind of. I feel like to a certain level, Damien always agreed with those ideas. <sighs> but yeah, I am sorry to anyone in the comments if I. Bother them with my opinions on like the CW shows. It mainly turned into a thing where like, like, cause it's not just the female characters. Like, I don't want you guys to walk away with that impression. That's just them. That's making those shows a little off for me. Like, Guardian. No, I was about to say Guardians of the Galaxy. Legends of Tomorrow. It's just 
my boy is saying it's like played for like it's, it just feels like it's all played for laughs but the way we deal with the incompetent main characters it just drives me up a wall up a wall I swear to you so it's just like I feel like I could do a comprehensive video on this but I'd have to go through an entire process of learning how to make that kind of video but yeah like you know Maybe if this channel gets big enough, if any of you guys want to see that, you guys can hear me try to concisively put those opinions to paper and tell you guys about it in like a Digibro format. But yeah, so this is going to be the last match of the video, guys. I really appreciate anyone who sat through all of this gonna have to have somebody watch this afterwards to make sure they think this is a alright video despite its content I'm gonna be going for a run after this so hopefully I don't die yeah it's just like um I once saw this comic that like really pointed out like what kind of strong female characters I like seeing it like had bubbles from the original Powerpuff Girls Korra and like um I think Samus Aran like all in like a shot and it was like talking about Supergirl and how they're like blasting the message of feminism and like these characters they just like silently portray it because that's the kind of character I want to see I want to see the female character that is strong and independent not in spite of their gender but just because of it they're just they're just independent because of it the, the those things don't interlock they just happen to be an independent character because I, I don't really see a man that's like he's independent for the sake of the fact that he's he's got a dick because or you know because they identify as one like it's just it's because that that character is independent and that's why I want to see so <laughs> this has just been me talking about CW shows and how it relates I, I'm sorry I am absolutely sorry well Harley's in 19 I didn't even talk about Harley <laughs> didn't even talk about her okay well I hope everyone has a good night I'll see you guys next time. This just got me thinking I should probably have an outro on these videos. But, yeah. Um, uh, won't, uh, if you guys are new here, check out all my other videos. Subscribe if you like. Like the video if you somehow liked me talking, my personality, any, any aspect of this. Hey, if you, even if you like my hero card, like the video. <laughs> uh, check out Bilbzy's videos. Bilbzy... Uh, yeah, yeah, look up Bilbzy, and he, he's, he's a cool Injustice YouTuber. I'm not an Injustice YouTuber, but, you know, he's cool. So that'll be it for this video. I hope everyone has a good night, morning, afternoon, whenever you guys see this.